Walking with Jesus, walking every day, all along the way, for I am walking with Jesus, walking with Jesus alone. Walking in the shadows, walking in the sunshine, walking every day, all along the way, for I am walking with Jesus. Walking with Jesus alone. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for this day. Thank you for the gift of life. Now, as we want to start the children's sermon, help your children to understand what we are saying. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, hi there. My name is Divine, and welcome to another bright Sabbath morning where we get to listen to the children's sermon. Yes, that's right. This month, we, the junior class, have been presenting the children's sermon. My name is Kayla. My name is Blessing, and our theme this month has been Gospel in Chains. Children, my name is George. Today we study from the book of Acts chapter 24. Get your Bibles and join along with us. Our topic is... Before, Before Governor Felix. Felix. Before we go any further, let's remind ourselves of what we learned last Sabbath. What do you remember, guys? Last Sabbath, we saw Paul defend himself before the Sanhedrin and got so angry because they wanted to kill him. Paul was then taken by the Roman commander to the barracks so that he can be saved from the Israelites. God then appeared to Paul and encouraged him to be cheerful. Paul was then taken to Caesarea to be judged by Governor Felix, who put Paul in prison as they waited for the Sanhedrin to come. Thanks for that reminder, guys. Children, after five days, how many days did I say? Five days. After five days, Ananias the high priest came to Caesarea with some people. Who are these people, guys? Ananias came with some elders and an orator named Tetelas, and they appeared before Felix. Wait, who's an orator? An orator in those days is like a lawyer today. Tetelas had been hired by the elders to speak on their behalf. Ah, oh, no wonder he was using some sweet words before Governor Felix. Actually, Divine, Tetelas' words were filled with lies. What lies when he said that the Jews enjoyed great peace? If they really did enjoy great peace, God would not need 472 soldiers to escort him to Caesarea. Wow, that's interesting. And another lie is he called Felix the most noble. Governor Felix was a very corrupt person and would ask for bribes to release prisoners. Wow, and why was Tatalas lying? He wanted Governor Felix to favor him and the elders. Wow. Children, and even he was threatening Governor, he was threatening Governor Felix that the Jews would attack the Romans if he did, they, did, they didn't put Paul in prison. Isn't that fair? Is that fair? No. What happened next? Tatalas called Paul a ringleader of the group of Nazarenes. The lawyer was referring to the Christians as the Nazarenes because they followed Jesus of Nazareth. And we see him continue lying about what happened in Jerusalem and why they arrested him. Tetelas said that Paul made the temple unholy, while in fact he purified himself for seven days before going to the temple. Satan must have been very happy, but the truth will always win. Paul was given a chance to speak and he spoke very differently from Tatalas the lawyer. What did he say? Paul does not use so many sweet words full of lies. Paul talks politely to Governor Felix. He said he appreciates the years of experience in judging that he had. That's much better. What happened next? Paul, Felix came with his wife Drusilla, who was a Jew. In some way, Felix understood the laws and rituals of the Israelites. Oh, so Felix invited someone. And so Felix understood the ways of the Israelites. Ah, no wonder even the experience. What took place afterwards? 
Paul continued speaking and explained to Felix what happened within the 12 days he arrived in Jerusalem and challenged his accusers to prove his accusations against him, but they did not. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm, that is so interesting. Indeed, very interesting. But Felix put Paul in prison. Sad, sad, sad. Yes, because while there, friends, uh, Paul's friends were allowed to visit him, but being in prison also kept Paul being safe from being killed by Jews. Wow, God is so wonderful. Was Paul released from prison? Yes, divine. After a few days, Felix and his wife Drusilla went to listen to Paul preach about doing the right thing, self-control, and judgment. Mm, God never lets us down. But sadly, Felix told Paul to stop talking. Why? Felix felt judged because he was very corrupt. He wanted Paul to give him money so that he would let him free from prison. That's why he sent for him very many times. Just when I thought Felix was becoming a good man, what happened next? Paul stayed in prison for two years because Felix did not want the Jews to start a fight with the Romans. Then Felix was replaced by a new governor called Festus. Oh, Festus. Yeah, that's where the chapter ends, but we learned that next Sabbath. Anyways, why don't we tell the children what lessons we learned today? We learned that we should always tell the truth, no matter what situation we are faced in. As God's followers, we should follow what is written in the Bible. If anything disagrees with it, then we shouldn't do it. Last but not least, God always has a good plan for our lives, even though it may not seem like it. Like Paul being in prison, was God protecting him from the Jews? Children, next Sabbath, we will see Paul being judged before Festus. Good. Children, and even when we pray to God and ask him to help us, he will, he will help us. For God does not let, uh, let his children down. Now, I want you guys to join us in singing. The first song is sung. Let us stand up and sing it. Walking with Jesus, walking every day, all along the way for I am walking with Jesus, walking with Jesus alone, walking in the shadows, walking in the sunshine, walking every day, all along the way for I am walking with Jesus. Walking with Jesus alone. Let's pray. Oh God, thank you for helping us to listen to the children's sermon. Bless us as we continue worshiping in your Sabbath day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.